Hey everybody, welcome to day six of our journey through Advent. You know, this week we're focusing on Jesus as our rest. Can you imagine what it must be like right now to be a single mom, maybe a teacher with a couple of kids at home? After almost 10 months of COVID, you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders, taking care of the kids, preparing lesson plans for online and on-campus classes, meeting by Zoom with confused and helpless parents who don't even know how to operate the machines that their kids are using, paying the bills, cleaning your house, which by the way, is getting more cluttered every day because you don't have time to clean it. Now add to that the feeling of guilt because you're not sure you want to expose yourself and your kids to church on campus, but you think you should be there. Have you tried to get your kids to sit and watch church online? Oh yeah, and don't forget, Christmas is right around the corner. It doesn't seem like there's an ounce of margin in life, physically, spiritually, or emotionally. You're out of gas. You're near the end of your rope. You're unable to unload the burden of responsibility and the guilt of never being able to do or be enough for anybody. (laughs) Can you feel it yet? Well, you may not be a single mom or a teacher, but I'm sure you can relate with being out of gas at the end of your rope, guilty, under the pile. And Jesus says to you, come to me all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Jesus wants you to come and talk with him and lay out what's going on in your life and believe that he can do something about it because you know what? He can, because Jesus is our rest. Is there a way maybe you could carve out even a few minutes today to come to Jesus? And what would you do when you get there? Well, I'd say do what I suggested last Thursday, what the Apostle Paul commands in Philippians chapter four, verses six and seven. Don't worry about anything whatever. Tell God every detail of your needs in earnest and thankful prayer. And the peace of God, which transcends all human understanding, will constantly guard your heart's and your minds as they rest in Christ Jesus. When you come to him, you'll find peace because your weary heart and mind will have come and found rest in him. Because as we're saying, Jesus is our rest.